Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this design to your WordPress website. Now, I have already shown you how to design this from scratch using HTML and CSS in one of my previous videos. I will leave the link in the description of this video and I will also leave the link of the source code. So in this video, we're going to add this to our WordPress website and this is also responsive. So if we decrease the width of the browser window, this is how it will look on smaller screens. So let's get started. Right here I have logged into my WordPress dashboard and for running this WordPress website locally, I am using this app called Local by Flywheel. So you can just download this for free and create a new WordPress site by clicking on this plus icon. And once you create that, you can just open your WordPress website by clicking on this WordPress admin button. And once you are logged in, you can just go over here and add this design. So we will add it to a post. So let's go over here to posts and let's click on add new post. And here we can add the title of the post. So here I'll just type features of our product. And then here you have to go to the content section and you have to create a custom HTML block. So you can just click on this plus icon and search for custom HTML or you can also type forward slash and start typing custom HTML and just select that. Now here we can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. So let's add the CSS first. So to add the CSS, I'll just add it inside a style tag. So let's create this style tag and uh, let's go to our source code. And uh, let's copy the CSS from here. So let's copy all of this. And let's paste it over here inside the style tag. And now the next thing we need to do is add the HTML. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the HTML file and let's copy all this HTML from here. And let's paste it over here outside the style tag. Now if we go back to the HTML file here, we can see that we have all this content. So the first thing is that we have this icon. So this is the SVG. You can change this to whatever you want. So this is the icon that you see. And then we have the title, so you can change the title to whatever you want. And then we have the description. So we have the same content for all these three features. So you can change the content of all of this to your needs. And once you're done that, you can just copy and paste the code to your WordPress post. But now let's go ahead and see whether it looks all right. So let's click on publish and let's click on publish once again. And here we can see that our post has been published. So let's click on view post. And here we can see our title is being displayed. And if you scroll down, we have our features section displayed over here. Now we have some problems in here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to increase the max width of this uh, section. And the next thing is that we will just decrease the font size of this content. So first of all, let's increase the max width. So let's go back to our post and here in the CSS, let's go to the container division, which is features container. And here let's add a max width. So let's tap max width and uh, let's set it to, let's try 800 pixels and let's click on update. Let's go back to our post and let's reload this page. And here we can see that the max width is not being added. So let's right click and go to inspect. Let's see what's the problem. So let's select the features container. And here if you scroll down here, we can see that we already have a max width added by the theme itself. So that's why the max width that we added, which we see over here is not being added to our content. So in this case, we need to add more importance to this max width. So for that, let's go back and here, let's add exclamation important. And let's click on update. And let's go back and let's reload this page. And now we can see that the max width is added. So in this way, if you have any CSS that is applied by the theme, and if you want to override it, you can just add exclamation important, but make sure that you don't add this too much. And uh, the next thing we will do is we will decrease the font size a little bit. So right now, if we take a look at the font size, we can see that the font size is set to 20 pixels. It is set by default by the theme. Now this you see over here is basically an extension in Google Chrome called what font. So you can just install it on Google Chrome. So let's go back and uh, let's add a font size. So if you go back to our HTML file, 
here we can see that we have this division with the class of feature description so let's go back and let's add the font size so we don't have the selector for feature description over here so i'll just add it so let's have features container feature description and let's set the font size to 16 pixels and let's click on update and let's go back to our post and uh, let's reload this page and now we can see it looks all right so our design is looking all right and let's hover over this and we also have the horror effect working all right let's take a look at the mobile version so let's decrease the width of the browser window and it looks all right on smaller screens as well so everything is working all right now if you go to the home page of our website here we can see that we have the content of our features description displayed over here and it doesn't look right because uh, this is basically the content from our html code now for this you can add an excerpt so let's go back to the post here let's go to all posts and here you can just click on edit and if you click on this button right here called settings then you'll have all these options and if you scroll down here we have an option for excerpt so here you can add an excerpt and it will be displayed over here so for now i just add a simple line of text i just have to take a look at the features of our product and let's click on update and let's go back to our home page and let's reload this page and now we can see that we have the excerpt displayed over here and if i click on this title we have the content displayed all right so that's basically how you can add this custom features section design to your wordpress website all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.